Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. That part it really struck me. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. There are many cups that can run dry. But Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Say, Father, I've come tonight because you are that cup that will not run dry. Feel me. Zapa kuta shalabria kakatos The cup that doesn't run dry. Infinite in wisdom. Zapra uskalabania shadabalakata. Skabaladabalato sabriyanda kastalabadika to shabendigetikai. Infinite in wisdom. Infinite in wisdom, layer after layer, truth upon truth. Manda kapaka to sabra katus kalabria da katas kavranda katra. No man exhausts your wisdom. Infinite in wisdom. Nothing in this world can satisfy. Yes, you are. Jesus, we're gathered tonight because we believe you. Our coming here tonight is proof we trust you. We believe you in your power to change us, your wisdom to transform us, your anointing to empower us. This is koinonia. And Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the privilege of positioning ourselves through alignment for encounters that you will transform us tonight this is our prayer we ask oh god that our minds be enlightened let your light come bless lift change and take us to dimensions we never dreamt possible we believe this and that's why we are here spirit of the living god we give you unrestrained access to our minds transform us in the name of jesus christ 
Amen. God bless you. Please be seated. Thank you so much for the many people. Please, if, if, they, if they are comfortable standing, let them stand. Um, it's going to be a whole lot of... Let's see how it goes. If they get too tired, I'm sure outside will be cold and wet. But if we can get a few of them there, then uh, that would be fine. But um, I know it's cold. It's the season. And um, better days are coming. The day will come when it is raining, you will not even know. Enjoy the process. Never pity yourself on your way to greatness. Enjoy every process. Be featured on the way so that you will have a story to tell. Let it not be that it was when everybody arrived that you came so that you will have a story too. And say one day, whilst listening to the word of God, I was standing outside cold and you look at your children and say it was that diligence that brought about the blessings we have today. Hallelujah. I have learned never to be embarrassed for as long as I know I am on the path to greatness. Follow it. In the rain, the sun, in convenience and in inconvenience, follow it diligently and be proud of your pursuit and sacrifices. Nobody wins the Olympic by mistake. Life is intentional. Progress is intentional. It will cost you. It has never been a secret. The cost dimension of life is not a secret. It's a price that is obvious. Everyone knows that to be great, there will be sacrifices. There will be seasons of constraint. Only a fool expects results without process. Lord, we thank you for what you are doing. We are proud of where you are leading us. And Lord, we ask for grace to learn to appreciate and to access the keys that will help us rise. In the name of Jesus. I've been thinking about tonight's meeting. Um, I think about all the meetings. But tonight's meeting struck me because um, every once in a while the Holy Spirit just gives me an opportunity to reminisce on all the teachings that have come. Um, and I submit to us in this house that God has granted us access to many many teachings this year alone we have been exposed to several teachings and you see the goal of these teachings these teachings are informations they are revelations that we are supposed to receive we are supposed to believe we are supposed to engage them and then watch them produce results in our lives and lift us from one dimension to the other hallelujah the goal of revelation is the transformation that it brings so that your life becomes an epistle you become a testimony that god did not lie in that area and truly it takes a while for the truth to settle in us and produce the desired result but we must endure hearing once learning once knowing once does not get the job done we must immerse ourselves it's from the word baptizo baptism we must immerse ourselves in this truth until we are literally possessed by them and then they will produce undeniable results in our lives proverbs chapter 4 There's a song in my spirit. Let praises rise from the inside. You know the song? From the inside of me. May you delight. Very powerful song. In the inside. In the inside of me. Of me. Yeah. 
Fast now. instruction of a father and attend to no understanding we're reading down to verse 9 for i give you good doctrine forsake ye not my love verse 3 for i was my father's son tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother for he taught me also and said unto me let thine heart retain my words keep my commands and leave five get wisdom get understanding although it is so volatile but forget it not neither decline from the words of my mouth forsake her not and she shall preserve thee love her and she shall keep thee wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all your getting get understanding exalt her esteem her place value on her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her verse 9 she shall give unto thy head an ornament of grace a crown of glory shall she deliver unto thee Praise the Lord. I am amazed at what the wisdom of God can do in the life of an individual, an organization, a church, a ministry. I am awed. While I was coming, I was talking to one of the protocol the persons who was with me. And I was just nodding my head and I told him, I said, the wisdom of God we desperately desperately need the wisdom of God you see the Bible says there is a way please listen carefully there is a way that seemeth right unto a man there is a way that culture proposes and says men walk in it there is a way that intellectualism Sophia human wisdom experience are we together now encapsulated in education science whatever it is the logic of life there is a way that it leads you there is a way that society leads you to approach life there is a way your instinct that is a derivative of the unrenewed mind leads you but the bible says listen carefully it says the end thereof are the ways of death our society is full of people guessing their ways our society is full of people hoping they are right our society is full of people imagining that they will make it young people fathers mothers leaders largely walking in confusion hoping that we understand what we are doing Do you know sometimes when i stand and i look at people i just feel like crying because i'm tempted to ask the question truly speaking who did this to us at what point did the confusion start are we together i have been passionate and you would have noticed that i i discovered that we have done well in this house with respect to exposing us to encounters by god's grace teachings have come teachings after teachings helping us to understand the person the ministry of the holy spirit we have seen encounters we have seen the power of god we have seen the glory of god but at the start of this year when the lord told me it was our year of triumph i took out 
time to take a little inventory and i found out that um, although god had helped us we were lacking grossly in the understanding of the systems of the kingdom we were doing well in terms of encounters the love for god passion prioritizing god but i knew that we needed to step up our understanding otherwise frustration will be inevitable it is painful to love god and still fail did you hear what i said it is it is justifiable to to hate to fail when you hate god and fail you say after all i'm not serious but when you love god a dear lady asked me a question day before yesterday i think and she said apostle are there good men i'm not teaching on, on men are there good men again and i said are you kidding of course they are and she said my mother was a good woman why is her life this way and it struck me again see let me tell you this you never never guess your way to greatness you never get your way to guess your way to peace the older you become it does not equate to the wiser you become there are 70 80 90 year old people remember we are conditioned environmentally that means that somebody mentored somebody who mentored somebody who mentored somebody who went to a school and submitted himself to a teacher's view who mentored somebody who later married somebody who mentored some children we our society is a chain of mentorship largely a communication of informations that are unscriptural and inaccurate are we together this is a very uncomfortable truth but we have to admit it because our lives and our results show that we obviously are missing it somewhere let me challenge us a bit look at your finances you will agree with me that something is missing somewhere look at your family life married or not if you're married look at your family why the fight why the quarrel it gets worse if both of you are christians look at the children why are they unruly why are they indisciplined how about your job look at the retrogression in our lives are we together now and do you know what most people will say this is what we say i don't know what i don't know why things are not working i've taught you here and i will drum it until it enters your spirit nothing works by itself nothing works by itself marriage does not work by itself spiritual life does not work by itself becoming blessed and wealthy does not work by itself becoming employed becoming responsible does not work by itself becoming a virtuous lady becoming a responsible man does not work by itself brothers and sisters growing spiritually does not work by itself becoming transformed does not work by itself everything in life must be engaged with wisdom to produce are we together now our confusion in life is because our intentions are not our results what we desire is not what we see so we desire a particular outcome but certain other outcomes keep happening and they keep repeating themselves regardless of the strategies we are trying ask any family represented here they will tell you we are tired of suffering we are tired of argument we are tired of pain can't we live in peace then they hold a meeting and say let's live in peace they all agree two days later everybody has gone haywire do you know why because the issue is not counseling the issue is the bankruptcy of certain informations our unwillingness to admit that time does not give knowledge please can you just flow just play something to flow hallelujah time does not impart knowledge time never never decides anything time only reveals I can go on my knees tonight and beg every one of you listening to me here listening online we're not acting on stage this thing is not a drama we're trying to act called ministry we're talking about transforming people there 
there is an exact formula you have to understand this there is a programming society has programmed our minds africa has been programmed in a certain way demons have worked with information for years and decades they have come from culture to culture from university to university from college to college from school to school they have indoctrinated men into thinking and understanding life in a particular way that is producing unfavorable outcomes listen pain will never produce change it only reveals the need for change that you are going through an unfavorable situation does not mean it will change that you are crying and saying oh god will you not wipe my tears it may provoke the mercy of god but every time god wants to show you mercy he does two things he sends his word and he sends men the solution to our problems our challenges the doors we trust and hope to open are shrouded in men and informations you reject men you reject truth you will die it says love me proverbs chapter 4 paraphrasing right that i will preserve you i will glorify you i will put an ornament of glory upon you please listen to me the hardest person the hardest person to ever help is the man and the woman who is resistant to change the moment an individual holds on to an old idea and old information whether theologically established philosophically established educationally established it doesn't matter what the basis is for as long as you are unwilling to open up your mind for the vetting and the probing of the spirit if per adventure the information you have carried on through your life is wrong there is nothing embarrassing about discovering that you have believed a lie you can change there is always time for a meek and a humble person who will say look i believe there has to be why am i a bad father begging and begging and 50 years we are still staying in a rented apartment i love god something is wrong why is there no favor in my life everything i lay my hands to do doesn't work listen listen this is not the issue of man of god pray for me this is the issue of submitting yourself to say i know that i am missing something because your life is producing a result it's just that it's a result you don't want if your life were not producing pain is a result failure is a result it means you are activating certain principles unknowingly limitations are results am i blessing you tonight let's not act as if god is so wicked and cannot help us and cannot change us and cannot lift us hear me your life and my life is at the mercy of our understanding of the systems of the kingdom provided we submit ourselves to understand it i give you a guarantee your light will come but for as long as we sit down and allow demons to build fortification along our wrong thinking our wrong mindset we argue and insult and move in pride especially for we the men because you see men our that sense of authority and dominion sometimes the false version of it has eaten us up the fact that we have accessed certain information for years does not mean it is valid a whole nation can be wrong that an information is old does not make it right it's been there but it's not right are we together our society is full of needless pain and sorrow sorrow upon sorrow there are families today that cannot live in peace they love god tongue talking some of them are even working in the vineyard of god but the systems of God that have been allocated to make for peace is not there. Divorce rates are soaring. Young people marrying the lifetime of marriages, two years. Lovely people, educated, they love God. Once upon a time, they could not sleep until they talked with themselves. Two years later, they hate themselves. What do you not know? 
why do people fail a family of 10 people nobody ever rises beyond certain barriers we we say demons yes it is the obvious reason but not the only reason something authorized them a door was open to them most of us the demons have been casted yet our lives have not changed because there is an equation that will have to commit us commit our understanding and our participation anybody who is unwilling to listen to this has failed not will fail has failed hallelujah when i understood the systems of god my life changed do you know someone sent me a text today lamenting and languishing on a lot of things in his life you know certain monies he was hoping he can get and he said if i can just get this 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 i will have peace i said no sir no sir you can have peace now peace is a revelation peace is a revelation it is not the product of the arrival or departure of certain factors peace is a revelation you can choose to be frustrated and wrinkle yourself to death our society is full of angry people whose lack of understanding has added to their age young people looking old why because a revelation has programmed them even their bodies they have wrinkled themselves 10 years ahead of their age moving in anger and frustration I came here tonight to challenge us God is not a magician God is not just a miracle worker God is a God of principles a miracle is a sign that something went wrong and so God intervenes supernaturally to correct it a principle is a sign that things are working as designed are we together now yes every one of us seated here came from a family listen carefully came from a culture and all of our cultures have certain tenets certain understandings foundationally we were indoctrinated with those things as a template for living we have perspectives financially speaking we have perspectives maritally speaking we have perspectives even in our pursuit of godliness we have perspectives in the area of parenting we have perspectives in the area of education and orientation we have perspectives in just our sociological living relationships and most of these perspectives most of it was fabricated by men and women who did not it was not a derivative of the ministry of the holy spirit it came as a result of people carving out a a system of relationship based on their pain their hatred their frustration and let me tell you something that you are born again does not transform you automatically it is only the access point for transformation to start being born again means that you are now authorized to legally begin to engage yourself in transformation there is something that we have allowed we have introduced it like a drug in our spirits in our minds that is cancerous is producing outcomes we do not desire so you see a lot of people and they tell you this is what i want but then their lives never produce it because another system is interrupting your desire and compelling a result that is not consistent with your desire see that so every time you come for koinonia know this that your coming for koinonia is a bailout system god is rescuing you some of you god is single-handedly picking you out of a family of 11 people to say look if you people keep praying and doing night vigils you will do it forever the, the spiritual dimension is ready to be corrected but there is a level of partnership with the holy spirit through knowledge through understanding there is something you must engage nobody nobody is born successful even if you are born into a rich family it is not your success the bible says in joshua chapter 1 verse 8 he said this book of the law shall not depart this compendium of mysteries this this the, the wisest perspective in all matters let it not depart he said but thou shalt meditate therein day and night consistently right he said that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein 
it leaves you with a promise not a suggestion it says then shall you make your way prosperous and you shall have good there is bad and wicked and foolish success there is good success look at me there is no such thing that god chose one person sam come and said you you will succeed and then chose another person and say you you will fail no way god is very just he created the systems and said anybody that wants to succeed subscribe to it in other words my being successful is not something god just chose to do last week he allocated the pathway the same way when you follow a road the government they, they build the road whoever wants to get to that destination follow it whether a child whether an adult the road does not ask you how old you are provided you are following legally it says go you don't go to buy a car and they ask you how old you are no no once you can pay for it it is given to you is that true why are we failing why are things not working in our lives why are we sitting down hoping that one day god will change whereas he has decided you see if the will of god is not known to us if the will of god is not known to us we will keep praying foolish prayers and we will keep asking as if it is god's pleasure to watch us go through pain and frustration something we do not know is responsible for these pains and these tragedies please give us jeremiah 29 and verse 11 jeremiah 29 and verse 11 for i know the thoughts that i think towards you this is god speaking thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you other versions say a future and an expected end a defined end not not an end that let's just be going and we hope no 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 an expected end that means there's something god has for me joshua selman in the blueprint of prophecy he designed that i will become something whether or not i become it is not up to him he has designed it it is my cooperation with him that will determine whether i will leave the reality of prophecy there are people god designed to be millionaires as it is they have never touched one million but in the heart in the loins of prophecy is their heritage is their destiny one of the most deceptive statements in the church is if god wants me he has the power to make it it is it is using the truth to kill you are using the truth like a knife and turning it to pierce people to say if god wants it he will make it no there are many things god wants to do that is not yet done on earth it is his will that all men be saved there are men still going to hell the fact that somebody went to hell is a sign that if you don't change nothing will change because if god has people to attend to he will attend to those going to hell first before the issue of rent are we together sorry i'm sure they are working on the sound if it does go off then we are going to pray is that fine promise already gave us uh, so I, I think i've said enough for us to pray for any reason the sound goes off just fire and pray very seriously and say lord what i've had so far you see how my life is going you lay your hands and you pray don't laugh you pray and say father i know i bear witness with the fact that i am confused as i'm standing now i don't know my left from my right i'm just growing older you need to give me direction and decorum hallelujah do you know marriages now are some of the most fearful things once you see two people about to get married the first thing i look is not whether they love themselves the first thing i look is whether they understand the systems of the kingdom you just carry a lady you carry a lady that you want to marry and two of you stand and we say now what is the name of what you are doing you say we love ourselves and uh, we are trusting the lord to live together that's wonderful it's a good starting point but do you understand the mysteries that have been allocated for living for the next 60 years knowing that you will get old she will get old not knowing physically speaking 
the things that the future holds do you understand the mysteries what if after your wedding night somebody appears and say you took my wife do you know what to do or will you cry this is what we are talking about if you get married to this wonderful lady now for instance and in the night while you are sleeping you are happy wedding night you danced all through the day and on your wedding night a stranger appears and say well in case you don't know they don't marry anyhow from this family and since you came foolishly i am here do you understand that this one is not love again this is spiritual intelligence because many of us will get up and say ah, honey i had a very bad dream let me it's not just a bad dream your life is about to be wrecked into pieces because we live in an environment that we walk through spiritual intelligence now love took you there understanding keeps you understanding keeps you brothers and sisters don't say i got born again you have watched seven people from your family the highest time they stayed in their marriages were two years what makes you think you will stay more so it, it is true love your wife but much more than that access the keys access the keys are we together what if your wife gets pregnant and you hear a report and they say the body the baby is turning anyhow and is about to kill your wife what mystery do you know that's no longer love what do you know are you hearing what i'm saying when you start building your house and someone comes the next day you come and see the blood of a goat on they demarcate it on the side of your fence you don't know the person who put it but you put it there and then they leave a letter if you add one more block you will die responsible gentleman you went to school but what are you going to do about that situation listen carefully to what i'm telling you those who are those of our parents fathers and mothers here know they they understand what i'm saying is the young people that are just laughing and joking when you rise and become responsible for your life you know that this world is a fierce place it's not a place of joke at all you see a letter written there nobody has built in this house in this family what gives you the audacity to say you want to start building a house at 27 they put that blood there as a sign be warned can you answer whoever wrote it without seeing him because the person put it and ran away can you carry the block by yourself and drop it and say because of what you said mason we are working day and night ah it's risky to not know how to respond did you hear what i said it's not just dangerous it's risky hear what i'm saying it's risky you go for a wedding and you are dancing and somebody comes to just touch you and hug you and rub all kinds of things on you and go away is there a system of immunity that answers immediately i'm not talking of prayer your life has been equipped already by default that woman touches something and as she's going back headache starts first then the leg stops working and then whatever shrine tells her you made a mistake big mistake you touch somebody who is not just a dancer on a wedding ground there is a warrior quietly seated what do you know that is because of tribalism they look at you and say we are relieving you from your job your wife is not working you are the only one working on account of your faith and integrity because you refuse to bribe are we together they now bring you a sack letter do you know what else to engage so you don't go hungry or will that experience begin the the start of your frustration what do you know and what do you not know this is what i want you to know on earth the days the days i, I was speaking with a jimmy's father-in-law this morning and he was telling me he said kai that during our time it uh, their time now it was a bit easier and he said during our time now uh, the world is spiritual everything i mean you have to be spiritual about everything literally literally many young people are not spiritual 
I know you are not spiritual because you do not know what to do. Brothers and sisters, when you return home and you see your father beating your mother, boxing her, you are a stupid woman, you are a witch, you are a devil. As one who has worked with God, do you know what to do? Or will you stand and say, let me separate them, sorry, and you go back to your room and say, God, when will you wipe our tears? Do you know what to engage? This, this is my assignment this year. To, to equip you to know what to do that issue of man of God pray for me wonderful but what if the man of God is sleeping because it is only the keeper of Israel that doesn't sleep Joshua Selman sleeps and he can slumber we keep carrying heart pain and say I called you by 2 30 so you were sleeping of course what, what is the meaning of that of course Are we together there is something we do not know we allow evil to step into our families and just destroy people like chickens and we sit down and say God I think you have to do something wonderful submit your prayer request at miracle service but much more than that will you be able to rise in intelligence Look at the suffering that ravages families financially and do you know the pain it happened is happening to people who love and fear God this is what makes it painful if I don't love God and I don't fear God whatever I get I have to admit it but when I love God and fear God I serve him truly I serve him faithfully and then all of a sudden nothing works Lord I'm looking for transport to come to church I can't come for koinonia because there is no transport Lord I'm looking for my school fees it's only 20,000 it can happen Lord my father is about to die I, I, we, I just need 5,000 for his drugs is it really the will of God to leave you in that pain who taught you is the will of God are we together We have allowed the devil to destroy our lives can i present scenarios right now and ask you what your response will be can i give all of you koinonia right now and say from all you have learned from january till now write the following exam and then i create an imaginary scene my dear we we want to buy a fan for the worship team and we leave the spiritual responsibility to you engage every key you know our own is bring us a fan based on the mysteries do you know what to do what are you going to do what is step one what is step two for many of us step one is to cry step two is to argue step three is to look onto man and and step four is to be frustrated but there are others who know what to do are we together yes some of us right now unfortunately our loved ones have gone to be with the lord like the gentleman who said his father has died the, the gentleman sharing the testimony father died mother died he had to stand in as a young man for his sister but what spiritual intelligence he blessed her because he understood that things don't just happen you don't just have twins just because you you are you think you're a matured man and you have a wife that the realm of the spirit controls this realm he did that like a joke came to the house of god for reinforcement the result was as desired when your result is as desired it meant the principle was correct when you have it the way you want it it means that the principle was correct light my life like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord 
morning and just feel a sharp pain are you intelligent enough to know what to engage please koinonia listen to me i want you have to learn this thing my assignment this year is to cause you to be spiritual to understand the systems of the kingdom so you know what to do the salvation of many is dependent on your wisdom the correct application you see the bible presents the wisest perspective in all matters the wisest perspective in all matters i don't trust myself outside of the word of god the bible is not an opinion to choose what to believe and choose what to refuse it's a compendium of the wisdom of god and it says get wisdom understand how to apply the keys of the kingdom correctly and you will rise up like an edifice if i get up in the morning right now and my chest starts paining me and i start coughing blood do i know what to do or is it the day i'm in the hospital quarter to die that i start saying which message do i listen to the bible says be instant in season these keys will test you do you understand the keys listen listen the Bible tells us there are arrows that fly by day. I'm not scaring you, it's the truth. Are we together now? What gives you guarantee that on your way to travel to Kaduna or Abuja tomorrow, the devil is not planning to kill you? What if right now, God should open your eyes and you see that in the realm of the spirit, they have given you 24 hours to die? Do you know what to engage? It's risky to live not knowing what to do. It's riskier to make bold face and bold statements when you have not gotten that key. Because you will brag and talk and talk and be whipped and punished. Only God knows how many covens. Only God knows where and where they have taken my name. Let this guy die. Let him not reach August. Only God knows the demons that have been casted out. You think they don't take back reports? They ask them from whence comest thou? I came from Koinonia. What happened? This mad young man, this crazy idiot called Joshua Selman casted us. Let's plan. Can we kill him in two weeks? Yes. Two more weeks? Yes. They added two more weeks. I'm still standing. Oh, he's about to take a flight. Can we do something? Kaba kataya dada because they will plan no they will plan i i wish what i was i was telling you was a lie on tuesday we are going to Ida for pastor alpha's program what is the guarantee that you will not die in the, on acts in the accident as we are going what is the guarantee that as we are not drive the car will capsize and kill me i'm coming back for sure If I die, you can say I made noise and I died. But for as long as I'm alive, no. I found it here. The wisdom of God. Jesus said, I have the power to lay it down. And the power to pick it up. Did you hear that? Men are given the power to lay it down. And the power to pick it up. Now, don't feel bad if your loved one has gone to be with the Lord. Don't worry, you are alive now. The responsibility is on you. You can't receive this for your family. You can only intercede for them. When it comes to the matters of the kingdom, it's first a personal affair. It must become truth and life to you. They are life to those who find them. Koinonia, they are life to those who find them. We live in a fierce and a wicked society. If someone, one of our ladies was giving me a testimony and she said how that someone came to boggle, I think to boggle their room or so and carry a laptop. Now, that whoever that thief is has stolen and has gone. Sad. But do you understand a system in the kingdom? Because you need the laptop. And for some of us, maybe that laptop just came, it was, if somebody gave it to you. Now, 
you are in a straight betwixt you need that laptop what key do i now engage you can't cry forever now that it has gone what do i do are you hearing what i'm saying i wish we had time tonight we're going to pray seriously i would have called a few people at random and would have just created imaginary life scenarios and i would have asked what you have learned so that we don't keep compounding mysteries upon mysteries upon mysteries there are so many other mysteries lined up that you will be learning between now and the end of the year but the key is are you getting it is it spirit and life to you hallelujah are we together one of the mysteries that i'm trusting that the lord god of heaven will help us to conquer is this thing of, of poverty and lack hello believers hear me poverty and what say it poverty and poverty and lack is a mystery i told you poverty is a strategy by satan it's a strategy poverty is not just a state of mind it's a spiritual strategy one of the most effective arsenal of satan for making the lives of people useless we come from different backgrounds with different experiences but we can begin to make our choices and trust god to help us i'm not teaching on on poverty or prosperity tonight but um, my, my assignment tonight is to review and introduce us to the keys my heart I, I it kept burning in me since through the week and i said lord my prayer is that your people your people will get this thing that they will understand it and it will rise hallelujah what do you not know sister what are you still allowing inside your head that is authorizing the devil to make life miserable for you brother what is it that god has been trying to pound out of your life that you are refusing to let go me this is how it is so my my i must am this like that that's how we are in our culture where we come from is it working is it working be honest is it working listen one of the keys of great people is their disloyalty to any information that does not produce there's no such thing as i was born with this if it does not work dump it throw it far from you and embrace that which is capable of blessing you the scribes and the pharisees already knew the truth but because of the ethics of tradition are we together now Nicodemus came to Jesus by night in John chapter 3 and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God. So they knew they were not in confusion, but in the daytime they refused. Why? Because of the rudiments of tradition. The Bible says that has made the word of God of non-effect, as though it were not powerful. Could it be that there is something this gentleman can know he's about writing his last exam if not because of the strike i'm sure maybe this week or next week he would have written his exam now and been a confirmed doctor now six seven years ago he, he probably would have been a naive gentleman just with a desire but he passed through a system month after month principle after principle and now after six years he's one exam to go to become a confirmed doctor and every other person called a medical doctor in the world just becomes a senior or junior colleague instantly what is the difference now whereas somebody would be convulsing eight years ago and this guy will stand confused eight years later someone will be convulsing and say it's all right it's something we can handle because something something and information your fear is a sign that you have not learned something thank you you will never be truly free from fear until knowledge bails you out fear is destroying us fear of the future fear of everything fear of death fear of living young people are afraid 
will I ever be established with a salary of 50,000 as a graduate? When will I ever be able to build a house? It will not build you a house. What will build you a house is the understanding of the word of God. They got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their arms save them. But thou, O Lord, because thou shown a favor towards them. You must understand the keys that are responsible for activating the things that we need in life. Hallelujah. Mother, there is something you can know that can transform your children. Could it be that the rebellion from the children is a product of an approach that may be cultural but not scriptural? Cultural but not scriptural. There are men who are taught beats the living daylight out of your wife. It's a way of showing her that you are a man. She does anything, beat her once, she will behave. You have tried it infinite times, it has not changed. That woman may be a sincere woman under the influence of a spirit. All that she may need is one encounter with the power of God. And she's free and she will be one of the nicest women in the whole world. Now, you can manage, you can beat yourself. There's, there was a gentleman that joined the queue after service. And there were like three, four, five lines to him. And I looked at him and I was surprised. How could a spirit still be in this guy even after a very heavy service? I was looking and I was seeing a spirit. The guy was playing. But in the realm of the spirit, I was seeing, so I kept quiet. When the guy just came and stood close to me, I said, what's wrong? And the guy said, I'm, I'm a thief. I can steal anything. I said, ah, that's it. You see, that, that, take that thief to the prison. He, he, you hang him there behind the bars and say, promise and write an agreement that you will never touch anybody's biro again. While he's doing that, the spirit steps out and then the same human being will sign the agreement and the spirit will enter two weeks after going out something starts pushing him it's not him everybody will beat him at home and say what do i do with this child because the mystery one minute prayer how many minutes one minute prayer under the heavy anointing will build that guy's 10 years of misery but because see let me tell you ignorance makes pain continue it prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain are we together and I just, it was just a simple tap I gave him on the head. And that was the end of it. That wild, wicked spirit. Because the gentleman confessed that he was willing to be free. How about people that come here, you see someone standing, almost staggering. And you say you came, you, you smoked something before you came to church. He won't argue. That's a sign that he wants to change. But there is something he does not know. See, the house of God is truly a blessing. It's a place where the mysteries that are responsible for your desire are given to you. That's why it matters. Are you seeing the reason why God loves crowd? The crowds are made of people. The people are made of their needs. They need access to the truth to be free. That's how we change society. I can tell you something. And I say it with all my heart and with all joy. By the grace of God. The marriages that will happen in this ministry will be heaven on earth. Listen, it's not just prophecy alone. The keys have been given. Some of our loved ones here who are married, you see the peace and tranquility. Regardless of what, there are some kinds of evil that cannot happen. It's gone. Do you know why? Knowledge. There are people here who have married different tribes, the same tribe, but same knowledge. The same knowledge has brought them into the same kingdom culture. I've said it again and again that we will all be great. You believe that prophecy? And that the best part is that we will all know ourselves. You will see it. It will start one step. Don't forget about what you have not gotten today. Line upon line, you are walking. You are taking that step and it's in the name of the Lord. And God is helping you. You may not look like it. But the hand of God is upon you. There is a mystery that is navigating you towards the right path.
Hallelujah. Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a work that should be approached with the wisdom of God. The word of God represents the wisdom of God. What is the wisdom of God? The scriptural solution to every problem on earth. The scriptural approach, his modus operandi, his method is called his wisdom. God's approach to life is his wisdom. God's approach to life is his wisdom. And the Bible is full of it. Jesus himself, the epitome of wisdom. When he came upon the earth, we saw the way he approached life. The spirit of the Christ empowered several people from Genesis to Revelation. And they manifested dimensions of living that were supernatural, enviable, admirable. And the Lord has said, this is our year of triumph. We are not going to triumph just through desire. It will be on the strength of what we know. Hallelujah. There is something we must know. There is something I need to know to be higher than where I am. My limitation in life right now is the limitation of how far I've been able to access the wisdom of God. There's more. I've only scratched the surface. If I submit myself and I learn more, I rise more because I begin to see how predictable my life can be on the strength of wisdom. My journey so far is a journey of searching the wisdom of God. Like a man in a gold mine searching for it. When you find it, you rejoice. Because you can stand on the strength. There was something I found out about the anointing. There was something I found out about miracles, signs and wonders. It didn't just happen. There was a day I found it. There was a day I found something about favor. It wasn't always like that. It's not just time that brought favor. No. Time just continued passing. And by the mercy and the grace of God, something was accessed. Listen, there is something you can access today that can make your seven days be equivalent to the blessings of five years. It's not a prayer. It's the truth. There is something you can find that can compress the sufferings and the hardship of men. My assignment to you this year is to help you understand this and to, through emphasis, reiterate it again and again until it becomes your conviction. If it is not your conviction, you will never walk in it. Let me tell you the truth. These things I teach were not things I started teaching this year. I've started teaching it before. So don't think it's because God has helped today that I say it's easy to... No, 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 no. The wisdom of God. What is God's call to you tonight? Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. If you are not getting it, settle down. Something is wrong. Did you hear what I said? Stop guessing. Prophesy to somebody. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. No, stop guessing. Everybody doesn't like me. What do I do? Stop guessing. There is an exact principle that is responsible for delightsomeness. Stop guessing. Why is it that everything I touch doesn't work? Stop guessing. Please say it again. Say it to somebody. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Inside, outside, online, stop guessing. It's risky to guess. The moment anything is not working in my life, I settle down. I need to look at this. Something must be wrong. There is something I'm not understanding. It makes your journey easier than just guessing trial and error. You don't have that much of time for trial and error. Man of God, the power of God is not flowing in your life. Stop guessing. Did you hear what I said? Stop guessing. You are not getting something. You pray for somebody and say it is done. He goes to another man of God just looking at him and the demon goes out. Stop guessing. You just told the guy it is done. It is not done. The, the guy still has, the spirit is still there. Are we together? The person came to you for prayer. You now came and said, oh, um, I've been suffering bad luck my whole life. Everything is going wrong. And he said, really? Father, we thank you. We ask that um, this gentleman be free. 
he says amen now the fact that he said amen does not mean heaven said amen the pastor prayed don't say they prayed for me who prayed for you what did the person who prayed for you know what did he know while he was praying for you i can pray for this person but the efficacy of my prayer is tied to the limitation of the knowledge i know don't just say they prayed for you who prayed for you and what was what what is the the reservoir of the spiritual knowledge that was resident in the person who prayed for you it's not just that they prayed for you so you tell this guy go in the name of jesus it is done this gentleman goes and nothing happens stop guessing the person comes somewhere else other than your own place are we together and stands and someone looks at him and says hold my hand i bless you that's it this gentleman walks out before he gets home an alert has come a call has come is that guessing no sir a gentleman prays for twins over his sister comes for koinonia drops the result when he was praying the twins did not know they were praying for them but they still came out as twins is that guess remember he was not the husband of the wife he was a brother ah. if you can pray for twins and they come out twins think of what else you can determine right on paper And say after two years rent over you wrote it on paper two years later you are standing in your own house where you can set the rules and not have anyone harass you do you believe this that means there's something you can write about your job and say in the name of jesus by october i am employed gainfully employed and then you write a salary structure lord i'm trusting you 150 to 200 000. while you are writing it those who don't know god say you are a stupid person don't mind them don't be angry they are only revealing to you what they have not been taught so don't argue you argue you have brought yourself down you write it by october you are in a job 150 000. for what he said he's able to do are we together yes you can make up your mind and say in the name of jesus i love god but I'm not going to marry a fool. I won't marry a stupid man. I'm going to marry somebody that loves God, loves me and is serious. While you are saying it, your friends will say, you, you better just say yes to any man that comes. So the way we do this thing now, go online, find any photo you want, click like on Facebook, pursue that person till he says yes and marry quietly. That is their own way. And they will give you one or two testimonies of those who it worked for. Did they tell you they are in peace now? You say it and you confess. And you don't just confess as a lady and stop there. You now say, okay, I understand that life is about partnership. Lord, what is my contribution? You can't sit down not doing anything and want God to carry his son that he has refined and worked upon. Worked diligently upon him. Brought out the best in him and, and just give you. God is not unjust. Are we together? Lord, what do I need to do? And God starts working on you. Materialism, throw it out. Be mouthy and talking anyhow, throw it out. You must be of a meek and a quiet spirit. You want to marry a great man, this your talk talk, you will tear down his business. God has helped this guy before your arrival. You won't come as a destroyer. Are you ready? And so you are, he's working. He's taking it out of you. In two months, you, have, you are transformed. You have become such a virtuous lady you who will be running your mouth talking all kinds of things you will say if if the guy does not have this if there's no jeep i will marry god has worked on you and that way he can now bring you to the person he has destined for you and you will now be a blessing the same way as a guy any lady you see ah this lady is pretty you are not doing anything you are not serious you don't know god you don't know the loss of life there's no structural establishment god is not helping you yet you are just standing and making noise the systems of god oh i want to be a great pastor and you start a church one year two years three years you are still on four members then you start criticizing and say it's not everybody that has crowd oh, keep quiet you are not getting something find out lord what what am i missing and god says one no wisdom two 
the level of grace there's no result three people are not being changed everybody you prayed for there's no testimony why should people come members are not idiots they will run to where god will visit them criticize them they will not stop members are not stupid in this nigeria of today oh no no people are wise you can keep running your mouth against people while people look for where their solutions are in the rain they will stand in the sun they will stand because what they are going through is, is worse than the sun so they will stand anywhere to make sure they receive please i want you to make up your mind today that anything that is not working in your life just know remember what i said stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing just calm down invite the holy spirit spirit of the living god i am not getting something i am not getting something a meek heart i am not getting something you gave me a beautiful wife now i hate her no affection for my wife again you bless me i'm about to throw my wife out of the house i don't give money nothing what is wrong spirit of the living god help me help me and then light comes dwell with them according to knowledge ah that means there's something i do not understand i think my wife is another man now the bible is bailing me out are we together yes so the next time you meet your wife and she asks you she say how was the how was the um, how was your job today and you say fine say no give me details you won't get angry you will know that that's how women are dwell with them according so you will start we went by 7 a.m uh -huh. by eight o'clock they gave us tea uh -huh. they, you are paying that price because you now understand the systems while you are paying that price what are you going to get a reward you will get a hug you will get a nice meal and you will get you a darling you see that you made adjustment or you can stand and brag and say me i'm a one word man and punish yourself and your life will not go forward how about employees that never get promoted and think it's just demons if you like pour one gallon of anointing oil in your head you are not productive when they want to downsize people they give you you came to work two months they gave you warning you are not productive sir customer relations zero friendliness at work zero on the job zero experience zero humility to learn zero initiative zero even if i'm the one who employed you you are going yes you are going that you are a member of coin you are not productive so instead of just sitting down to get angry and say my boss is a wicked man do you know how much that guy collects 1.2 and he's giving me fifty thousand. no lord i love my boss i pray for him in the name of jesus i declare he is a leader there is something he knows that is setting him above he may not be a very nice man but in the name of jesus i pray for him and i love him and you walk up to him and say sir i just want to say thank you i've been working here eight months and i appreciate your mentorship and your leadership i just brought this wine to say thank you say what what, what is it for i mean I'm, I'm paying you no 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 sir i want to thank you much more than the salary you are changing my life if there is anything that can make me improve i am ready to learn always know that you are finding a very worthy mentee in me thank you sir and you go out you have programmed something he will act as if he did enter him keep watching the day promotion is coming and then somebody now comes to say do you know this person is yoruba he says See, shut up it's my company it's my job you gave him memories you showed him that you were ready to learn the moment you step out he writes your name thank god this is the person i've been looking for and then he calls you one day and gives you a very difficult task and you start saying kai my boss has been on my case for two months he's testing you he's seeing that you are the next person who should be the director of that department he you have you are earning his trust but your lack of understanding is making you interpret it as wickedness you brought your boss's name for uh, uh, this thing uh, uh, miracle service you dropped it on and not just you didn't just write his name you say oh god punish this guy frustrate the tokens of this and that whereas listen if you had understanding and wisdom you would know that that's your lifting 
why does he ask me to stay back when others are going and then he gives me a hard job and then he shouts at me and i apologize and he does not say sorry he's not a fool there's something he knew that made him the boss keep watching while he's acting he's taking note one day he calls you and says look um i know that it's not my character to do this but i want you to know that i am absolutely impressed i have watched you for six months all the other people are arguing around those who are insulting him and then he lifts you overnight and then you continue praying for him again will he be perfect no he would do foolish things he would do stupid things but he's still your boss one day he calls you and says look you are so smart why are you still working in this corporation i think you are smart enough to have your own company and he says look call abc and tell them i said they should help you and in three years you have become a ceo of yourself you have become colleagues brothers and sisters lack of wisdom is destroying us are we not seeing this thing our interpretation about people and life is a product of a, a bankruptcy of life we call light darkness we call darkness light are we together we call a process failure we call failure defeat we don't know how to allocate names based on wisdom we call everything everything but god is teaching us tonight that the kingdom of god has systems i came with a fire burning in my spirit tonight that if you can learn the systems of god you will laugh when others are frowning and they will ask you why are you frowning and then you say there's a light that i see that's why i'm laughing you know? in spite of all the darkness that surrounds me and this light that i see only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice there's a joy in my heart in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my soul only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice and there's a peace hey in my heart in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and these beats that i have only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice Alive. Every time I hear your voice. Do you know why? Because you know you don't rejoice when things happen, you rejoice to make them happen. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. So you don't rejoice just because you feel like no, the Holy Ghost moves you. You have rent, you are writing, trouble, you are writing, no child, you are writing, no job, you are writing no wife you are writing and at the end of it you are dancing and people say ah, i've been hearing a song you say no 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 it's not it. i am dancing because this is what happens knowledge are you hearing what i'm saying now and people look at you and say ah promise would you is it not you that i saw the landlord embarrassing you you claim you are going to church and you can't pay simple forty thousand. the moment you hear don't worry the normal thing is agitation but use intelligence in the spirit you get back and say lord i may not have forty thousand now but i have you i have peace
peace i have joy i may go through embarrassment now but i know that the god i serve the god i serve the god i serve can arise for me they may mock you and say all kinds of things know that a mockery is a sign that satan is already agitated by your success there is something he's seeing mockery is a mystery in the spirit it's a sign that your result is appearing already let me tell you hear this hear this if anybody mocks you they gave you a sign that something is already arriving i promise you know this i'm teaching you deep mysteries mockery is a mystery madam are you a man or a woman this is 10 years and you are not married Ooh, start rejoicing don't cry it's a sign that a parcel has left heaven something is coming satan can see and so he says look frustrate them men walk by their senses do something frustrate them but those who are spiritual know they get inside the room and start dancing lord you are so good hey you are worthy of all my praise lord you are so good you are exalted as a love most high Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted as the Lord most high. Listen, and then everything starts agitating you. You go to the place of work, they are insulting you. You come back for the hazards, they are insulting you. Don't, don't cry. If you cry, you are not wise. You begin to rejoice and you go to satan satan what did you see that is making you restless what have you seen what did you see about my baby that is making because you see the attacks were not like that the attacks are a reaction satan has lived long in this planet he knows we walk by sight but for those who have been able to grow spiritually you don't find their tears you say satan if I will ever cry is to God, though, it's not to you. Job was in a state in his life where nothing was working. Job was on the ground, sat down on the ground, and his wife told him, He said, Cause God and die. Job said, Why are you talking like one of these stupid women? Ha! God, though he slay me. Though he slay me. Are we together now? Job's friends came from everywhere. And everybody was talking every kind of nonsense. Let me tell you. One of the worst things that can happen to you. Is to sit down and allow your life to be a subject of debate. From people who are bringing all kinds of useless opinions. But you love God. Why did you have the accident? But you love... Why... <coughs> joy joy forever who has killed your joy today i show you that it's an attack over something that is arriving who has killed your joy you prayed about finances your destiny helper is about to come but the devil is wrinkling your face with trouble hey they didn't pay salary i understand i understand i wanted to eat well today now that you cannot eat god you are faithful now you be God, Almighty God, you know be my Lord, you know be my Lord. Now you be God, now you be God, God. Almighty God, you know be my Lord.
and destiny I can't be too mature to stop believing the word no sir it is the foolishness of man to stop believing God for anything God cannot do cannot be done anything God cannot do cannot be done no Can you just blast in tongues for one minute? Hey. Hey. Sera mana na ma sera ne dia. Lera da di re da di ma. Don't allow the devil shake you. Lord of Judah, my trust is in you. The ancient of days. My trust everywhere inside and outside and let's begin to pray in the spirit this results we must command it results are commandable those online follow us hold hands with everybody close to you any nation day or night go ahead connect in the spirit inside outside pray we are men of faith and power believe the things that I'm teaching you and I promise you your life will surprise you we're going to take some time to pray that's why I'm stopping here I just sense that grace to pray prayer point number one I insist that I must succeed lift your voice and pray don't be quiet open your mouth everything Adam called success is my destiny Shakata <laughs> I have 
have decided to walk with Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to walk with Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Prophesy your desire. I have decided the wisdom to walk with Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to walk with Jesus. No turning back. No foolish and ignorant people to laugh at you while you walk the principles of the kingdom though men forsake me still I will follow no turning back no turning, no turning back though men forsake me still I will follow no turning back for obedience to walk the mysteries of the kingdom till they produce for me lift your voice and pray grace 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 to apply the kingdom grace to apply the kingdom the mysteries of the anointing the mysteries for prosperity the mysteries for peace for progress for influence grace, grace, grace you need grace pray pray I Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't think we are rounding up. We have some prayers to do. Listen, I want you to mention the areas of challenge in your life and say, Lord, what mystery, what system in the kingdom are the results of this pain tied to reveal to me? Lift your voice and pray. Mention them. Don't keep quiet. Lord, my growth rate is slow. What is the system in the kingdom that is responsible for speed? I cry for revelation. Are you praying? Are you praying? Lord, I love you. I've seen the anointing on my life, but my finances are dying. Living from hand to mouth, what allocation in the kingdom is responsible for that result? 
Lord, I love you. I enjoy a healthy prayer life. My prayer life is robust, but there are no helpers in my life. What am I missing? What am I missing? Norman was the captain of the Syrian army, but, but, but he was a valiant man in war. He excelled in an area, but there was an area that was bankrupt. Show me, open my eyes. Open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes. Keep praying. Everyone that asked it, receive it. Everyone that asked it, receive it. Everyone that asked it, receive it. Everyone that seeks, finds, and to him that knocks, the door shall be open. We knock on that door. Jesus, the door, reveal to me. Don't stop praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number three. Every door that opened before and then closed must open again. No. It must open again. No. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, wherever I missed it, I asked for mercy. But that door must open again. You showed me favor once. You must show me favor again. You gave me victory once. You must give me victory again. Pray. You sent me helpers once. They must appear again. My hand has tested prosperity once. It must come back again. I enjoyed speed before. I cried for restoration. I once was a landlord. Now I'm a tenant. Take me back, oh God. Restore my glory. Restore my honor. Restore my glory. Restore my honor. Restore the anointing. I used to carry the healing anointing once, but it no longer is working. Restore it, oh God. Restore the fire. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everyone. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that the grace that is responsible for compelling men to apply the kingdom until they get results may that grace be released on you now may that grace be released on you now may that grace be released on you now in the name of jesus i decree and declare that every area of your life where satan has taken an advantage of by the power that is in the name of jesus i force restoration i force restoration beginning from tonight i declare the mysteries that will bail you out of any trouble you are in it must be revealed to you tonight in the name of jesus and finally i pray for you i will keep praying this until i see it in your life the kind of favor you have never seen 
may the God I serve make it happen in your life I release upon you the ministry of the gift of man the gift of man the gift of man in the name of Jesus Christ you never the devil will never allow you to hold the hands of God and hold the hands of the blessing he will say choose one hold the blessing and leave God or hold God and leave the blessing the miracle service says you can hold both that's why we're here tonight yes sir that you can say I can still serve God and pay my siblings school fees because of the blessing of the Lord I can still serve God and I don't need to go and collect any charm yet I will prophesy to nonsense and cast out any demon you see that listen you are here tonight I'm announcing to you very straight up what we are here for we are not here to waste our time we are here to stand in agreement with God I have seen how people in ignorance allow the devil to make nonsense out of their lives choose between raising a godly family or not getting married choose between being a very wealthy man or a pastor hello choose between being the first graduate from your village or being a popular musician anything that you can use to give God glory is what Satan is looking for he will find you he will haunt you and if you do not understand the systems of the kingdom he will make sure that he makes nonsense out of your life and listen the moment he sees that your health and vitality and energy has been committed unto God he will now find a particular disease and program it across your lineage not you if you have headache that means it may just be that you need you just need some time to rest satan is too wicked to just give you a headache satan wants to program something you heard that dear lady cancer in um the grandmother just like faith can be transferred so you program it in a way that a young lady is just 35 36 and all of a sudden she's feeling what is this ah mama died of cancer now i'm having cancer tomorrow another person has cancer those people don't need healing they need deliverance it looks like it's healing ask jesus woman thou art loose first when you are loose then he laid hands on her he said now you, your body can participate but the real thing is the bondage in the spirit are we together now yes anything you see in your family that is not only you that is suffering you need to stand for them today oh. if you are the only one having it it may just be your not understanding your this and that but provided you are not the only one no your grandmother was raped by a stupid man your mother was raped by a stupid man you you were raped by a stupid man must you wait until your daughter is raped you stand up and say in the name of jesus someone paid your grandmother's dowry and ran away they paid your mother's dowry and ran away now somebody is wanting to pay your dowry and, and run away you stand and say lord this must end look let me tell you nothing changes until men get angry enough to say lord it must stop are we together yes it must stop how about finances look at me there are some of you here i don't mean to insult you and i don't mean to embarrass you but let me tell you the truth until god does something to your hand money will never stay in your hand i'm not talking about money you can be as intelligent as whatever i'm telling you it takes more than a good transaction to keep this thing because money like a human being has a spirit a soul and a body the spirit of money is mammon or the holy spirit there has to be a controlling factor the soul of money is the 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 intellectual system that brings the exchange the body of money is the physical thing you are holding 
so if all you are holding is just the physical thing you are a joker there is a spirit that can call what is in your hand and it will leave you it's true so the devil sees that this family wants to call upon the name of the lord and make sure that everybody remains poor can i tell you this and i don't mean to insult you but more than 60 percent of the people seated here your major prayer point corporately as a family is oh god let your heavens be open so that your supplies can come there may be other things but you will prefer supplies a thousand times than your leg that is paining you to be to be fine there is an agenda i've shared with you my vision i will continue to share it years ago i was praying i think i was uh, i can't remember what was happening and then my my ceiling just disappeared i didn't see a building again and the next thing i looked and i saw a giant creature mighty creature the eyes as big as the head of a man and then it was it looked like a dinosaur but the tail had its own life meaning you could disconnect the tail from the body and it would still be in existence and it was just fuming with red eyes looking at me and saying so you think you can bring god's people into abundance that was the end that was when i agreed that prosperity is spiritual if all you have is a contract you are joking if all you have is a shop well done but you are in trouble if all you have is a good business you heard the testimony of this dear um wonderful man that came from koza that just shared here now estates and everything just given no it's not just a man that gave him there is a spirit behind it you need to be empowered to fail i hope you know that when you are failing consistently there is an anointing making that happen an anointing is simply an empowerment everybody hates you you are supposed to bless me as soon as i come you hate me i now go here and i'm too late it's not normal when the coincidences are too accurate there is a spirit making it happen someone calls you and says, please come let me give you something to pay the rent of your family the moment that statement happens the devil makes sure that the man receives a call that is an emergency call are you seeing that now and he leaves the office you arrive the office you find out the door is locked he says if the young man comes just give him two thousand to go back it's a lie the man did not leave something happened there is a spirit behind that operation how many of you have gone to to seek people over something that is so simple maybe just a signature and it will take two weeks three weeks you believe it's normal and then sometimes a man of god may pray for you and speak and you go back and the person who should not be there in the afternoon is now there he was not there an angel kept him there this is how this kingdom operates your destiny helper the destiny helper of your family can be two blocks away from you but because there is no spiritual connection my brother and my sister you can stay 15 years whereas the person ordained by god to lift you is just two blocks you will go to america and return back like a thief you will go to uk and return back like somebody that god hates but the day god decides to locate you you will be surprised is god speaking to us that's why we're here tonight you can be a man of god and like the gentleman who listened to discerning the body probably god has been telling you look your ministry will never grow until you receive a word of impartation and prophecy but you'll be surprised how you'll be planning for five years i will come for koinonia you will now say next week you will say kai uh, ah i'm feeling cold let me just relax as soon as you want to travel your sister will just say ah, i just came on break let me tell you all those acting is a lie 
but there's something about the will of man the day you stamp your feet and say today i name today as my day of breakthrough the bible said today if you hear his voice every day becomes your today until the day your faith says no tomorrow again it has to be today are we together so tonight i don't want you to sit down and waste your time you are hearing people testify my brothers and my sisters i tell you by the grace of god there is enough grace and power to turn your life to bring any it's not very difficult no it's just your connection stop the arguments the war that is happening in your head can god do this you can't leave lagos leave the east leave the north and come and sit down you are wondering you believe that god brought you to waste your time no sir no sir i tell you in a moment in a twinkling of an eye oh can can the hepatitis go can this go we're talking god here we're not talking the the chief consultant of a, a, a hospital the god of heaven can that yoke go we are nine people in our family apostle nobody has a job it's not about the job the devil has seen that in the job of those nine people is the bread of maybe 30 children those nine people the money from those nine people who empower a church to preach and save somebody who will become a mighty man and for the sake of that mighty man those nine people will remain poor it's not about the family hallelujah if satan had his way he will kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone if he can do that he can beat his chest and say i've tried ah but there's a song that says satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> We make our boast in the lord in the next few minutes we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place let me tell you first of october we'll let we'll let the devil know what is in nigeria he has tasted what is in america what is in russia what is in this and then you see your life change a miracle is a wonder that that the limit oh, hold his hands try to stop him two of you you know that game they used to play that you try oh yeah do it now yeah don't no don't, don't draw him too much sorry you are not very kind now watch this are you seeing that now this guy can be growing old every year you are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise let me tell you my assignment this is me now coming into this equation my my assignment is not to cut what is there my assignment is to carry this like this this one because you see i can cut what is there and pass you can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go he's going to hold you and say come back apostle has gone so the, the job has not been done my assignment by the grace of god is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way one, that's number one that's not all then my assignment is to turn you to the direction that's where prophecy is powerful and then turn what would have come to you from that delay if i leave you like this you are not oppressed but you are you still don't have breakthrough you are free from oppression but you have not entered your inheritance so you can't testify but whatever that is when it comes to you and you go to it and then i leave you my job is to and and the thing is that all these things happen through words the word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance and then by next week you are coming with an employment letter and you're on your knees saying god what is this what is this then two weeks later five people all barring in your family are saying ah I, I i think i'm pregnant then you just remember ah what has happened a man of god that you have space for 500 people in your church 
and yet you see 10 people, 15. During a convention, they grow to 30. By the time service is finishing, there's 20 back. And all of a sudden, something happens. And one spectacular miracle happens by the next Sunday in a way that even the critics say, I'm here in your church today to watch what happened. And you said, I never believed I would buy canopy for an overflow. But the anointing. God brought you here to change your life. Listen to me. I repeat. God brought you here to change your life. He didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia. No. This is a miracle service. A miracle service is not a teaching service. I will take out time and teach you, but this is a miracle service. There are some of you, you may not be sick, you may not be oppressed, but you need to carry something that ends every argument. Result, my brothers and my sisters, is the end of every argument. I can lie to you. Or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square. And I can argue because I'm not seeing it. But if you bring out a pocket square and I see it, this is the end of the argument. It would be stupid to still argue. At that point, you will let everybody know you are a madman. This is the result. Could it be that you have been talking too much? Let the anointing talk. I, I, will, I will build the house. I know God is faithful. I will do this. And God is saying, no. Moses only spoke small. And then the rod kept talking. You have been talking forever. Some of you, you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that God will give you. You stood before the Red Sea for forever. It refused to part. But God brought you here to carry something that you go back with it and it will shock you my brothers and my sisters that that red sea will part and you will call your family and say finally we've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road that the river can part tonight i want you to know that god wants to do this number one because he loves you but number two, there is a dimension of glory only your result can bring to him. Don't ever let anyone fool you. Hearing is our father glorified. John 15 and verse 8. This is how I am glorified. Galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says, And they glorified God in me. Not that they glorified God on the throne. They looked at my life. They saw that God can do this you no father no mother who gave you the job who did you know from the top you're a man of god i used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what god can do if it is the lord's doing it is marvelous in our eyes for as long as your life is ordinary your ministry is ordinary your business is ordinary you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain let me tell you god takes away shame from our lives by giving us results did you hear what i said god does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody he does something in your life and he does it in a way like julius berger will build a house and put God will do it and put his signature. They'll say, no, this business cannot be human. I hear testimonies of people every time. The things that God does in and through their lives. A wonder. Please let your heart be open now. Oh. Don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time. Whether you are outside overflow, one overflow, two overflow, three online, whatever nation you are following, just listen. I believe him. I may not claim I know everything about him, but this God, when God decides to stand up from his throne, he said, now arise from your throne. God can stand up. Have you heard that the earth is his footstool? So when he decides to stand up and say, who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming? The Bible says, even the mountains keep like lambs.
my God is mighty. Our own belief many times is the reason why God does not move. We come and sit down and pile up. Some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful. But you are there wondering, can you move, oh God, concerning my money? Can you move concerning my money? Can you move concerning my health? Can you move concerning my wife? And God is saying, yes, I can. I am willing and I'm able. And then the devil comes very quickly and says, if God could move, did the man of God pray for you in, by March? Didn't your pastor fast seven days for you? And you say, it's true. Oh, that's the devil. Tonight, your faith must be open. Your faith must rise to the heavens to say, Lord, I don't want to leave this place just knowing I'm blessed. I want to know what happened to me. I want to hold a substance. God is speaking to someone here. This, this sharing the grace and saying, ah, were you blessed? Oh my God, miracle service was powerful. That's not a blessing, no. You can hold on to something and know that I left this place. What happened? The pain is gone. I left this place. What happened? That before the grace is shared, you check your phone and all of a sudden, a text that you have been waiting for for five years. Now, that's an evidence. This is what we are talking about. All of a sudden, you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach. You have been trusting God for that prophetic grace. And while the preaching is going, all of a sudden, your eyes are open. You are saying, so this is what the apostle is saying. And you are seeing the power of God touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you're saying my God I've gotten this Elisha knew when he got it Elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the Lord God of Elijah and the river parted you are trusting God for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit. You are just connecting one revelation to this. And you're saying, I, I can't remember studying this. And then you discern that something is happening. Something is happening. That heaviness has gone. Where is the fear? Yesterday night I couldn't sleep. The fear of death is gone. Listen, Philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ. If you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it, if I ask this gentleman to give me water, I'm expectant. I'm not expecting a handkerchief. I'm expecting water. Anything I see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from god thank god for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint lord i left lagos this morning and i came here i left bielsa and i came here my car almost had an accident lord i would have been in a convention now as a man of god i left it to be here i'm looking for something let something come from heaven and your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven and all of a sudden boom i tell you in one minute i remember many years ago when i was standing in the rain had bonke crusade there were crowds of people like this I didn't know what who wore whether you wore red or green or blue my eyes were fixed Lord what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him what kind of man is this that no one criticizes him Abba, I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone no when it came I knew that I got it I knew that I got it listen my brothers and my sisters you can know that the load has been lifted you can know that the prayer has been answered you can know that the project is a done deal are we together the grace is here more than available for you and whilst we begin to pray don't just watch others receive be sensitive you are the one who knows what you are here for are we together in one minute I'd like you to open your mouth and cry. Mention specifically, why are you here? Talk to the Lord. Please pray. Please pray. Pray with all your heart.
Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family. That pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch. A second touch over my family. My loved ones are not born again. Lord, I can't watch them go to hell like this. Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burden. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able. I will continue to read it for you Isaiah chapter 61 please give it to us the messianic prophecy Jesus's own manifesto he's saying this is what I came to do Isaiah 61 
it says the spirit of the lord we're reading from verse one to four is upon me because the lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives start looking for your own as i'm reading and the opening of the prison to them that are bound verse 2 to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all those that mourn three to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified for and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair waste cities he says the desolations of many generations i like you to pray whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family insist that tonight is the night when it will happen overflow one pray overflow two overflow three by the roadside those following from around the world open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart hallelujah hallelujah the Lord just showed me something like a train you know a speed train not like we have it now just like a train just pass like this and I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed listen we are going to pray now and like i always say you'll find out when i pray you're going to see people running around in and out please just guide them and bring them out ushers whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do so much i want to pray once i pray that prayer listen please i don't want you to get listen please hold on i don't want it, the idea is not about people falling down carrying them please let your spirit be open be open for when your word will come be open for when god will visit and locate you that, that's that's what you're here for so i want to pray that prayer now jesus <laughs> i'm seeing a lot of those people at overflow one a lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer I know overflow one the overflow outside you see let me tell you this when a man listen when a man does not have speed in his life you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do it it takes more than just power right please help those in overflow one my god i'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside now listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but when will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god 
when he wanted Elijah to move because he had already been delayed the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah he was empowered of the spirit and he ran I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around no when that grace comes upon you what God is saying is I'm ready to shift you that within a short time you will see a lot happen in your life in three days the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying thank you jesus the lord is asking me to shout jesus not you now i'm the one shouting jesus i'm going to shout it and at the third time i tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of god let me have those people out lord you are bringing speed to your people and i know that there are angels all around it's time to change people's levels and even as you have instructed me oh god as i declare that name that is above every other name i pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position that in the name of the god of heaven an anointing will shift that person into his destiny jesus that's number one mm. jesus that's number two get ready now Shabalakata. jesus let that anointing right now i shift man speed Kabarakatosha. speed to your life oh god let every delay be broken now i command the spirit of delay be broken speed i shift you by the power of the holy ghost help that woman please help that mama there please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the holy ghost lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please i'm praying For some of you now, it's the same prayer, but it's no longer just for you. You may not be experiencing it, but your family needs speed. The anointing now is moving from individuals to families. Lord, where are the families that need the shift of the Holy Ghost? I decree and declare right now, I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Families be shifted now. Speed, speed, speed speed kaparakoto shegeta i decree it i declare it i decree it and i declare it no more delay I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now 
I move people. God is moving people here. I decree, I declare, I decree, I declare, I decree, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, it must work for you. I shift you. No more delay in your life. This lady wearing hijab right now, the Lord is shifting you. That lady, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let the anointing of the Spirit take away delay from your life right now, in the name of Jesus. now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now i command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your yes I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the Lord is saying that he's shifting things I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken let that chain I command that devil I'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah be sensitive i want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but i want to pray a dangerous prayer i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, I crush Satan. I crush his works inside, outside. I command every power, every force. Go now. Go now. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Just give me the volume. I'm seeing fire by my left and right. Just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now. As I'm walking here. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil. You must go now. You must go now. You must go now. I declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. As soon as I come close to you, that fire, and there is an anointing. You can't stand it. It's impossible. As soon as I come close to you, as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way right now in the name of jesus the power of god is coming this area this direction let them go now release them i come by the anointing of the holy ghost 
Let them go now. Let them go now. Kaparato seke teke te. Seke teke 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 te. Empreketos. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus, lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I'd like you to pray. Everyone pray. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Now listen. Overflow one, listen to me. Listen, you don't have to touch me. Please, you don't have to touch me. But in the name of Jesus, hear me. The Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone. As soon as I pass here, I don't have to come close to you. You are going to feel fire all, all over. That fire, that will be the end of it. You must testify. Right now, I stretch my hands. Right, right now. It's over, over now. Shakos kata nika, eketo sata rikata, embreketo sheketa, akato shekriaka, manta brekotos. Let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I curse it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I curse it now. Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power by fire, by fire, by fire. It leaves you now. Those of you here, I want you to lift your hands. Overflow two. Overflow two, lift your hands. Let me go to the front there. Enough is enough. As I pass this place, listen. I want you to be very sensitive. There is a strong anointing tonight. Overflow two. Please help your neighbors. I'm only going to pass here right there. As soon as I come close to you, except God is not God. If there is any force holding you, holding your life and your ministry, it must go right now. Right now in Jesus' name, be free. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I command those devils, go, 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 go. Kabakatoketaka. Let them go, go, go now. Release them, release them, release them. Every covenant, release them. I break that power now, 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 now. Be broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen, I didn't know we have an extra overflow here. I want to pray for those by the side here. As I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, those of you by the roadside, one, two. Let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare, I decree and I declare, you are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow 3, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. 
I'm seeing chains on people's streets. Chains, chains, chains. Be broken now. 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 Chains, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands. I'm still praying. Listen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing in the name that is above all names at the count of three one two three shout jesus bring them out that devil must let you go today my god look at what god is doing in overflow three Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow three. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder, but that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen, but a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you, or something will happen. Right now, at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata brekatish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you i speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah i'm inside this place now and I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet. But the Lord is showing me the number 12. And the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Shagatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos ketekekata. Shabrakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the Spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders.
Hallelujah. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium. And I stretch my hands from here. It doesn't matter what overflow. You just be sensitive to what God is doing. Main auditorium. I'm seeing eight people. Eight people in the main auditorium. At the count of three. Right now in the name of Jesus. Fire will come upon your hands. I'm prophesying to the main auditorium. But everybody can receive. I decree and declare that healing anointing. One. Two. Three. Let that anointing come now. Let it come now. Fresh fire. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I'm seeing. Oh my God. The Lord is opening my eyes here. I'm I'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father i don't know if i'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly Please make sure you hear what I say before you come. Just let make way for them. Karakol zahas kana bakato jabra ates kene hasia. Krakato zakenda sana has kala bako prakatos. The power of witchcraft. Young man, you're going to be a mighty man of God. I don't know you. Lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you now. Ah, huh? will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder. Or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ hold my hands my dear the power of idols in the name of jesus i break that force now i break that force now i break the force now testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah I'm praying listen I stretch my hands towards you and I speak I don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in Jesus name I'm stretching my hands why am I seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of Jesus Christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A 
the paper cut out. Let her go now. Out. Out. Now. Now. This lady wearing a red hair tie. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a grace that is coming. Let that anointing come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that anointing come upon you. Hallelujah. Overflow three. I'm seen by the spirit. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing the names of members of your family. Like written already. Written already. I'm going to pray. Listen. Except God has not sent me. As I'm praying. Some of you instantly the power of God will come upon you. And God is going to open your eyes. You are going to see victory and deliverance. In fact I see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the holy ghost i release you my dear hold my hands to you I'm seeing that your life is about to change. Two weeks from now, it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life. I decree and I declare it over your life. I stand by the anointing and I pray for you. Father, according to your word, within two weeks, turn this lady's life around. Supernaturally. In the name of Jesus. Emeka. Who is Emeka? Emeka. I'm hearing a name, Emeka. Overflow three here. I'm just talking to overflow three people. Emeka, Emeka, please quickly, please quickly, don't waste our time. Where is that gentleman? What's your name? I want to pray. What do you do? I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place. You came for NYSE. I want to pray. Lift your hands. Because I'm seeing, look at me. The Lord is giving you the grace for wealth. Huh? I want you to believe it. But every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people. You love Jesus with all your heart? I want to pray for you. It will surprise you the way God will begin to turn things around in your life. Father, change this gentleman's story in the name of Jesus forever. Overflow 3, I'm still praying. The spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy all of you open your mouth and begin to pray Everything you desire, overflow three. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and decree. I'm seeing an anointing around here. Who is that person? I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as I'm standing here. Father, let the chains be broken now. The anointing of the Spirit. Find that person. Let the chains be broken right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now, be broken now. Hallelujah. Please, everyone, pray. Everyone, pray. Everyone, pray. Everyone, pray. Hold on.
there's someone here the lord is saying i'm rolling away your shame i'm seeing light as i was just passing i just saw light two people let the anointing find those people now two people right now i decree overflow two right now in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of jesus christ who is gabriel 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 i'm hearing a name who is gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around uh, where are you coming from i want to pray for you you love jesus what is is it oleku or aleku what is that huh huh where are you from benway state you are from benway state this is what has tied down your life and your family i want to pray for you i'm not a herbalist eh? father in the name of jesus let this gentleman be free right now i command that devil to leave you now just keep him there in the name of jesus these two people this gentleman you yes and the lady by you come quickly please low 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory what do you do my friend you are a student you love jesus i want to pray for you huh yes, are you together yes sir because i saw light on you husband and wife yes please, sir. well i'm not going to discuss your issue now but two of you need deliverance eh? you love jesus but you need serious deliverance based on what i'm seeing now huh you are not husband and wife yet but i'm seeing a lot of stories father in the name of jesus look at me you're going to be very wealthy but the first thing you need to edit are your friends huh hear what i'm telling you huh my, uh, my sister you know what i'm saying right huh so your friends huh confirm sir listen to me you are not truly born again if your friends don't change hear it from me all this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends if if i am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together i'm close to a drunkard that means i can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by is that true so my friend you love god there eh? but you see um look at what i'm doing one leg in one leg out huh don't be embarrassed when i make the altar call you need to run and come quickly jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to just for no 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 no. Let, let's take god serious and take him look what i see my friend i see god turning your life in a way that will surprise you but friends and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone it's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail god may be calling you to a great ministry but you will hear a counsel that would destroy god's purpose over your life I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady. Come. I'm looking at you. I'm seeing a young lady, but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know 
let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married i will now advise him and say mr man you married a witch oh you do you know what it means to be a witch so god is you see that god is is balancing a lot of things in our lives let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision i already know what is happening it is true that the lady needs help but it doesn't mean imagine that i look at this lady now and say my you're a witch no this is a lovely she has a beautiful heart i already see by the spirit very beautiful heart but it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression it takes the power of god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves so many of you are here you find out for instance the moment you enter a relationship come for instance as you mean i enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me have you seen that happen i'm doing well in business but just because i married this lady i start going down and now you meet a man of god and if the man if you're in ministry here please be careful you have to trust god for grace to be balanced are we together i can now look at this lady and say ah your wife is the reason behind your failure um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah halushia kaprahasku de bakatuskia i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now. My dear, I set you free and I open the door of favor for you right now. Please everybody lift your hands. I'm seeing I've not seen this in a long time. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is In the name of Jesus. The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke complete stroke the devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe but we're going to destroy that now in the name of jesus hold my hands i decree and declare be free now by the power of the holy spirit madam i don't know you but ah you please come ah. this is your first time coming i need to pray for you what do you do ma you are jobless ma Huh? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed I hope I'm not embarrassing you I want to pray for you I give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you I lay my hands right now and I declare I'm seeing chains leaving you I command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please open your mouth and begin to pray hold on hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i open that closed door now i open that closed door now by the power of the holy ghost
please open your mouth and begin to pray everyone open your mouth and pray the lord is asking me to stand here just here just to stand here because the lord is bringing breakthrough here and here here and here right now here and here i command right now by the power of the holy spirit every planting that is not of god i uproot it now i uproot it now i uproot it now lift your voice and begin to pray please lift your voice and begin to pray in the name of jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray hallelujah praise the lord i know our time is gone we are going to be very fast sir you're welcome sir can i pray for you sir why are they here priest you sir you are a priest I served, my father served and died. And died. Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please, quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man. But I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you? Your dad? Your father is a priest. Currently? Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus hi jesus power is really super power really super power that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can live out now everything that is not of god a father is a priest or not her uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes you are receiving the healing anointing now huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant him access to the healing anointing, your healing power. Now, oh dear, our time is gone. This is, sometimes I honestly wish that this, this because there are so many things I see, but we have to work with time. This lady, you, come. Hurry up now, please, come. Uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with god your heart with him your heart with him hold my hands father in the name of jesus i take away distraction from her life right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i take away distraction I take away distraction. Kai. We have we've not even prayed for the sick girl. My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. Your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. I'm here with my husband. Husband, where are you, sir? 
Let's clap for the husband. Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No. We came with him. Oh, okay. I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God. I'm a true business boy. So sir, I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing, you will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry, ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time. Are you a man of God? Stand up. Stand up. Take that anointing now. In the name of Jesus, you step into a new dimension. I take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry. From today, you step into a realm of signs, wonders, miracles. In the name of Jesus. Can I pray for you, sir? Look at me. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Just hold it with both of your hands. In the name of Jesus, I transfer grace, signs and wonders, strange testimonies, your business, between now and 30th of November, sir, your finances will change, you and your wife, in ways that will surprise you. You will come back and testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. This man waving your hands, come together with that woman by your side. Who is she? Come, please, two of you, quickly. Let's appreciate them as they come. Oh, oh, oh. To you, sir, I want to pray for you, ah. madam. I'm looking at you, you're a nice woman, but I'm seeing you carrying a load. Huh? I'm seeing you like this, and I'm seeing a load on your head. And if I don't pray for you, this load is going to destroy you. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? Are you new here? By Elsa, by Elsa, hmm. all the way. I think we should appreciate them. <laughs> what do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You are in ministry, both of you. Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. Came together, you are an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church. Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But you were somewhere. Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja, yes. and then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you're an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month and then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio and then. Oh, you do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things one, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady, this one, this one, this lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator, the same way you are watching, me too I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelism I hold my hands father this is a dear woman of God all the way from Bielsa I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit and I declare 
fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers i'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back this thing i'm seeing is going to be a powerful program there is a program in abuja that looks like what you would do it's called when women pray i'm seeing that same kind of grace on you that you are going back to bielsa and god is giving you uncommon grace for women in the name of jesus i decree and i declare you carry that grace right now madam my god will honor you ah in the name of jesus supernatural grace drink of that wine sir i'll pray for you the grace for leadership the grace for finance but i'm ah, it's not only pastoring i'm seeing you do what else do you do i manufacture paint you manufacture paint that's right sir what am i seeing this is somebody it's, it's not directly the government but this is somebody that is connected to the government the lord is going to connect him to you it's, it has something to do with supplies that thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you please write it you will see it happen father in the name of jesus i pray for this man of god i stretch my hands drink of that wine that anointing drink of that wine you will never be the same i stretch my hands i take away every limitation from your life and i decree and i declare your life turns around from today in the name of jesus give jesus praise goodness 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 can we still pray for the sick we can't close this without praying for the sick In the name of Jesus, be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus, go now. In the name of Jesus, you go and write your test, bring back your results. Go. Listen, I, can we? Time is gone. Oh dear. You see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal maybe i'll just pray i'll just pray for the sick from here we'll do it that way right but make no mistakes just that you that you are not coming out doesn't mean i want to pray for you now we'll take a few testimonies now in the last three or four months i have seen i don't know why this happens but i have seen a dimension of the healing power of god very creative miracles so i want to pray you are trusting god for a miracle lay your hand right now on your body quickly i want to pray for you now please believe god for a miracle now this is what will happen overflow one two three the roadside and then those following us online our time is gone but as soon as I pray for you now, I pray for you, the power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies, but since we have chosen this method now, as soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and i'll just confirm that um how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, i want you to do pr department help them protocol please help them while i'm praying for the sick i think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus
a lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name please agree with me everyone in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out i'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the holy ghost i curse you now i curse you now say amen i curse you now in the name of jesus i command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in jesus name be healed my god the power of god is touching people already be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of jesus now i command every blood condition be healed from it now in jesus name peptic ulcer the lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps i command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a number of people having um hepatitis the lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the holy ghost eye conditions in the name of jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside i'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our facebook page or you can find a way to post it i want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and i'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at god touching people already please make your way make your way the power of god has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies god bless you koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. 
make your way be bold don't be ashamed make your way as soon as the power of god has touched you back pain since hold last on, year hold on you... just a moment please all make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected please i want you to wave it jesus is still healing people you just come join the queue god bless you yes please back pain since last year can you, you... sit for a, a few minutes just sit for a few minutes and then we're done let's just hear the testimonies if as you are hearing the testimony god is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of God told me about it in 2012 and I prayed God. I was wow. hearing those B sounds and I don't hear really. Which of them? Put your hand there now. In the name of Jesus, it never, never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Ulsa. You mentioned Ulsa. how long? Yes. Okay. Where are you from? Kaduna, sir. Kaduna State. Yes, sir. That's where you are from? Yes, your state of origin? Not biologically. Biologically, where are you from? I'm from each Patal Court. I mean, I'm from State. I don't know There's a reason why I said this. There's a lot. You don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where? Eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. It's okay i'll talk to you eh? father help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman but there is a lot i'm seeing in your life i crush the hand of darkness over your life now and i declare be free in jesus also, name koinonia you are pain. not celebrating you are so used to miracles in this place he was feeling the May pain God but as you him. prayed for him it left it's gone completely how long Since july july in the name of jesus christ may the lord perfect you Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the the lower back pain. It affected her left leg also, this pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain? Yes, it's gone completely. Give the Jesus last three praise. years. <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. I ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises, it's a wise baguette. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How 2007. How long, my dear? Let her talk. How long? 2007. 
You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain. That back she pain. Had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today they asked you to ride a gone. horse. Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor. Or just advise us. <laughs> don't, don't She's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? Hi. The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then. Don't worry, do your horse thing, eh? I'm just happy that you are healed. So you can go and ride your horse now for fun. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected. In Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. And I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod. In Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they will hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he spake unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family in the name of jesus yes go ahead she's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain how Came old are you now pain this evening sir how old are you now 21 21 and she's had severe menstrual pain yes and she came here with the pain today but the don't pain believe is that thing oh in the name of jesus i cancel it forever amen. say amen by the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's... The heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card, eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her okay. and watch what happens in your life. Yes. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic healed. ulcer. How long? I'm here now. Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Feel, press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. come on koinonia may god forgive you may god you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that god bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it happened once august august 26 you just slump like that yes i was falling and then my brother caught me come what if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire the devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge 
then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared is that back pain for a long time back pain sir now? yes in jesus name let it go and go forever never to return again in sometimes the two eyes go blind other times only the right one go blind but now he's totally healed he can see with both eyes have you gone to the hospital for this but sometimes you just go blank like that come in the name of jesus put your hands on your eyes i decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ he's had back pain for a long time he's healed now back pain you see god is when there are messages behind miracles you see that god is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation it's not just the bones are what give structures to a person doctors tell us that means that by this miracle god is speaking through it right like he's doing the miracle of ezekiel 37 the bones coming back it took the bones to come back for an army to rise therefore i'm praying that everything that is out of order out of joint out of place in your life by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles let there be a restoration of it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you yes please go ahead so back pain he came here with waist pain sorry waist pain he came here with how long serious pain 2014 and now he's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah, <laughs> it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in jesus name apostle you mentioned so he's laughing that, uh, until he fell under the anointing a buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear yes, oh okay you mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound all through but as you mentioned it it's gone now what's your name sir yeah since 2014 for the past four years it's gone completely the left ear give totally jesus praise healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand, the middle finger, she couldn't bend it at all. She has gone for treatment. She couldn't bend it Which at one? all. Which one? The middle finger. Longest How long? Last year. Why couldn't you bend it? I don't know. I bend it now. Let them see it. Look at this. And then as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain, she also had, as you were praying right now, she came for the testimony. The menstrual pain also left. Let it go back to hell Amen. and never come to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had weak. Your father's salvation. Ah, we are experts in praying for salvation here. You need to find out how God saves people here. When you, it's not that God saves them. It's how he saves them. That is a sign and a wonder. I was preaching the series on um, reality of heaven and hell. And there was one malam. He came for koinonia. He was seated outside. And while I was praying, he, he was studying his, 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 his... Let me study your IRK. Or what, he was studying something like that. And then, all of a sudden, he just... I mean, koinonia just disappeared. And he saw a vision of heaven outside, overflow one. And the Lord Jesus was talking to him. That's how the guy got born again. Remember years ago... The gentleman that came here, that gentleman that belonged to a cult group, you, you know the, the guy, that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harbourless place. As soon as I climbed here, all that the guy saw was, I hope he's still in Christ. But as far as, <laughs> yes, the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power. And so when he was here and saw power, he said, ah, there's power here. Whether it's demonic power or God's power, there's really power here. In the name of Jesus, there is grace that saves men. We declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had weakness you. was ill. When we take the last person, that would be also that we can... Yes, In overflow please. three, witness overflow three. body pain. So as you went outside and you ministered, ah, she fell under God the power God visited of God. overflow three today. Oh, this miracle service was for overflow three. As she fell under the power, she stood up perfectly whole. Completely. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please, go ahead. She said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine. But and as you prayed, come, my dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, it goes here. Can, her body is even hot. You can see that her body she is ill, cough, she, but everything is 
in the name of Jesus Christ. It goes forever. Next person, okay. please. He's had um, back pain for a while. During the seven days fasting program, yes. he was healed. But yesterday, the symptoms came back. But right now, he has been permanently healed. What was the issue, sir? Back pain. Back pain. Come. You see the, you see the, the thing again I'm telling you? Miracles are messages in Jesus' name. Back pain goes and goes forever. Yes, she's please. had serious kata since 2010 that lasted for three years. Is it that kata? And came back again, but right now she's completely healed. Completely healed. Put your hand on your chest. Lord Jesus, let this lady be perfected now, perfected forever. I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Forever healed, forever perfected. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's bringing restoration restoration to your life in Jesus name. now he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there yes while he stood up from there to come here the symptoms disappeared that's number one because God will always honor faith come my friend then the second thing was that he had this chest pain he had done his ECG scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension drugs but while he stood here, the pains disappeared. The heaviness left. Hypertension, back to sender. Back to the devil that sent it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, please. Her grandfather died of this ulcer pain. Her father has it. Her sister has it. And then she's also seeing the symptoms. But tonight, when the case was mentioned, she was completely healed. You see... This, these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person. Grandfather died of it. You said father has it. Father has it. Mother, sister has, sister it. has it. Yes. Aunties. Yes. Everybody has it. Most of my aunties. My, my younger sister, my dad, just all of us. Like where are you from? I'm from Delta State. Delta State. In the name of Jesus, a beautiful lady, the devil should not rubbish your destiny. I can't sue this yoke not just over your life but over your family in the name of jesus is gone now and gone forever in jesus you mentioned name. back pain apostle she came for personal prayers last week just on her own personal um, prayers as she was going back she felt like an arrow was shot in her back since last week she has been having that pain but as you mentioned it, hold the my pain hands in the name of jesus look at me look at me shout jesus jesus Yes, she had this pain in her chest and her stomach. She suspected it Our was lovely ulcer. Our Osha, you can imagine how hard, how wonderful, okay? She was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis. But as you mentioned, the heaviness and the pain, Put everything your hand just on your left chest. in her stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that that devil goes back to hell. In the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Now, everyone, please stand. Everyone, please stand. Oh, they're still... He's had a very mysterious headache, heaviness that just disappeared now as you mentioned the case. In the name of Jesus, come my friend. It never returns to you again. Every other person that has been touched by the power of God, we declare perfection for your body now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, I want you to stretch, I want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request. Stretch your hands and I want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost Embra po shodo pretekete e karo sakatosh kalabos en taro seketeketekete. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over this request. We decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, let impossible situations. Please make sure everybody's request is here. Let impossible situations go. Please agree by faith as you pray. We are laying our hands on this request. In the name of Jesus, Shakos Kaprakato Shadebakata, Embrekete Koto Shabragados. Father, in the name of Jesus, this is a representation of the faith of your people. You are the God that answers prayers. I ask, oh God, that you arise. Arise in power 
arise in majesty arise in grace in the name of jesus turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around turn the lives of your people around hallelujah i stand upon this request prophetically and i agree with you for some of you the things you have written here the truth is that only god can do them there's no man born of a woman that can do it in fact if you read some of the things for us even us who god has helped will have to doubt and say ah but thank god that the request is unto god father we present before you this request and in the name of jesus i declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies they are supernaturally turned to testimonies in the name of jesus christ please stand if you can and receive the last prophecy and impartation I will continue to speak over your life and I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said therefore please I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit there is a lady you have been seen You have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of jesus every fraternity every fraternity with the gate of darkness in the name of jesus i'm praying for those people first i command that devil to leave you now once and for all once and for all hallelujah i'm praying for someone else i don't know why god is interrupting me now there is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you i'm saying once you go to bed somebody must come to molest you whether it's a man whether it's a woman whether it's an animal that must happen to you you get up and physical things begin to be misplaced i'm praying right now for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god i declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of Jesus now I pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you I pray for you I stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names I prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore I speak over your life catch fire healing fire deliverance fire breakthrough fire let it come upon you now in the name of Jesus now I speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic I shift you to the next level of your life please believe it I shift you to the next level of your life
for all those in business here and you're trusting God to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names may the grace for strange favor may the grace for favor come upon your business and lift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ every helper that must show up between now and October miracle service listen you heard the testimony of the gentleman here it just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by God I pray for you and I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ I connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of Jesus Christ listen every family here that is saying lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives i'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barring or you are connected to anyone you know trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus we release their miracle children now I'm praying for anyone here trusting God for a job you are trusting God for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus I agree with you return with your testimony the kind of favor ah, the favor that can turn your life overnight around I decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around <laughs> hallelujah now I want you to say amen to this prayer that I want to pray for you the problem that only you will have the anointing and the grace to solve that will pick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of Jesus from the depth of my heart may that anointing come upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when God wants to help you he will carry Joseph and put in him an ability to interpret Pharaoh's dream Joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison I pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of Jesus anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now I agree with you whether I uniquely mention your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names I stretch my hands and I agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony yeah. hallelujah lord 
in this month of October I'm, not, I'm, I'm the one asking for you Father a dimension of financial increase that your people have not seen this has nothing to do with what you are doing on, I'm praying for you in the name that is above all names I pray for you may my God bring supplies to your life this month in a way that will bring tears of joy to your eyes finally I pray for you I don't know what dimension in the spirit you are crying that God brings you into for some of you God has helped you in the area of revelation but you truly need the gifts of the spirit to walk in your life for some of you you have seen the gifts of the spirit work but you need a higher dimension for some of you you need comprehension into the word of God for some of you you need the grace for prayer you are not lazy the grace is just not there for some of you you need faith and courage capacity to believe God for impossible things it doesn't matter what category I stretch my hands and I declare whatever spiritual blessing you desire I stretch my hands to you now let it come upon you right 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 now in the name of Jesus Christ let it come upon you right now I'm still praying it let it come upon you prophetic fire let it come upon you visions and dreams visions and dreams let it come upon you the grace to interpret visions and dreams let it come upon you the gifts of healing let it come upon you tongues interpretation of tongues the gifts of wisdom the gifts of leadership administration let it come upon you in Jesus name father we give you thanks we thank you I decree and declare the blessing that is upon Nigeria the grace that has made Nigeria indestructible after 58 years may that same grace keep your life intact if Nigeria is not dead after 58 years I forbid death from your life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah you are here and you are saying apostle i need jesus you heard the prayer of our dear lady here the sister that came requesting for her father in the name of jesus listen carefully i know we are trying to settle down in the name of jesus that lady i cause the spirit that that lady you are with i command that devil let her go now look at the kind of wild wild spirit these are the kinds of spirits that that make people manifest as stubborn it doesn't mean they are bad when a stubborn spirit is working in your life it will reflect that's why you find out that they don't listen no matter what you tell them they never listen these are the spirits dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.